<laughs> and there he is. <laughs> now, it's billed as one of the most explosive weeks ever in soap. Next week, Emma Lau goes into meltdown, and the man right in the thick of it is bad boy Ross Barton. I can't even know what's going on here. You're going to spoil everything. What, here at the garage? Or at home? Do you even pee? She's just going to have to tell us who the dad is, isn't she? Why is that? I'll let him stump up. I've made my decision. It's you. Oh, so you know you're holding his kid, do you? Turns out I can live without you. Easily. I mean, welcome, Michael Parnell. Welcome, Mike. Thanks welcome. for having me back. No, uh, yeah, good to see you again. Your, your character, Ross, has had some explosive storylines yes. so far in the Dallas. I know, obviously, next week is going to be one of the biggest weeks ever. What, what can we expect? Well, well, you've hit the nail on the head. I think it's, it's going to be up there with, like, the biggest week in soap history. Absolutely. You know, there's going to be stunts, mm -hmm. explosions, yeah. you know, people breaking up, you know, maybe a few people don't make it. Really? So, no, I can't, There's going to be a couple of deaths. Oh, no, he just, just drops that. That is yeah. a question Maybe. on everyone's lips. <laughs> <laughs> now, obviously, Ross is the ultimate bad boy. Do you think he has a good side to him? Yeah, he's got a heart. Somewhere. He's, he's, you know, you, he's, no one's just one thing, are they? You mm -hmm. know, he's got a heart in there. It's just... He's, a, he's had a rough upbringing and he's, you know, yeah. just a bit wild and yeah. wants to cause trouble all the time. Uh, so tell us about your love triangle, because it's, it's, it's a big one, <laughs> to say the least. Yeah, um, basically... Can you break it down for us? Yeah. Those... Having an affair with my brother's fiance uh -huh. behind his back. And nice. um, I have a baby with her mother. So it's all a bit... It's like a Greek tragedy, really. So you're seeing yes. the mum and the daughter I've, and you've got... I've slept with both. Are you naughty, and naughty man? And, and you're expecting a child with the mother? No, I've got a child with the mother and I'm now having an affair with her daughter. It's like an episode yeah. of Jeremy Carr. Yeah, it is. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> twisted, isn't it? So yeah. what's going to happen next week? How's it going to pan out? Uh, well, I don't want to give too much away, but, you know, obviously, um, Debbie Dingle now is wants to marry Pete and uh -huh. Ross isn't happy with that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, there's a wedding and will Ross break them up? I don't know. You'll just have to tune in. Well, okay. we actually have a clip of tonight's episode. Let's have a look. What are you talking about? You never wanted to be a dad, did you, Ross? It's not who you are. I wanted to try. Well, you don't have to. That's what I'm saying. You know, this way you can live your life and start again. Nobody needs to know that you're his dad. No ties. You'll never have to pay a penny towards him. All you've got to do is walk away. And is this what you really want? I want to forget all about you. And marry the man that I love. So please, for once in your life, do the right thing and let me. Wow, so the big question is, does he walk away, huh? It's Ross, he wouldn't walk <laughs> away. No, he's not going to let anyone have a happy ending if he's not having one. Of so. course he's not. No. If, if Ross does survive, you know, explosive week next week, yeah. uh, what would you like to see him do next? Because I don't think there's much more for him to... Well, ladies to conquer on a day. No, surely um, not. <laughs> I don't know. It, it'd just be more trouble, but, you know, you just have to wait and see if he survives. He might not. I, I, I'm, sworn not I'm sworn no, to secrecy. I'm sworn to secrecy. No spoilers, no spoilers. <laughs> now, I have to ask you, you have always played the bad boy. <laughs> Yeah, Why I knew where we were going. I don't know. I, I, do I look like I'm a villain? Well, you always no, seem very nice when guy. you come in here and talk to us. I, don't, I really don't know. I've played a few um, mm. dodgy characters in my time. I won't want to say, you know, how dodgy, but I don't know. Is it the way I stand? Is it the way I dress? <laughs> I don't I'm, know. I'm, well, I'm, I'm not sure. Do you, do you enjoy playing the villain? Yeah, it's much better. I think it's much better to be the James Bond villain than actually play Bond. I don't know why. I just think, you know, <laughs> after watching Skyfall and Javier Bardem, he killed it. I just thought, yeah, I'd much rather be a villain. Yeah, are you, uh, you you looking to go for the next James Bond role then? You know, if, you know if they throw it my way, <laughs> I'll cool. think about it. Like if you're watching, guys, yeah. <laughs> he's free, call me. He's free. Call me. <laughs> you obviously do so many emotionally draining scenes when you when you're filming on Emmerdale. Mm. Does it is it hard to, to switch off when you get home? Yeah. No, it's not. I don't know. I don't take my my personal life into work, and I don't no. take my work home with me. You know, it's easy to switch off. Just go for. I eat out quite a lot. I'm a, I'm a horrible cook. So I go oh, out. are you? Yeah, I'm useless. You're oh, a takeaway kind of guy. I make a sandwich. What? Yeah, really? I'm, I'm, no, I'm really... It's like that Beans on toast. At a push. At a push. <laughs> if you hold my hand through it, we might get there, yeah. Uh, you, you've also won awards as well. Mm -hmm. You won Best Newcomer a couple of years ago. Uh, yeah. And you were nominated for Best Actor last year. You, you just... Just... It. And you lost that to, to the guy, that, uh, Adam, that plays Ian Bill. Ian Bill. Yeah. Um, would you like to win that award next year if you get nominated again? Obviously, I'll, I, you know, I'd, I'd love to win, but I, I can't say I'm really here 
you know, to I, I didn't get the job and then think, right, I want to go and win some awards. Of I'm just course. happy that I'm working, to be honest. Of course. Well, how does it feel, though, I have to say, because this is an award that no one would turn. I know you I know you would, did. <laughs> You've been dubbed one of the sexiest men in soap. So, yeah. It, I don't know, it's, it's, it's like well flattering, done, but... It, <laughs> Congratulations, good stuff. It's like flattering and insulting at the same time, because it's like, I want to be known for my acting. Of course. But, hey, you look good. Yeah. So, you know, well, you know. I'll, I'll take it. Yeah. I, I've read somewhere as well that you're against men that take selfies. Now, being nominated for do you take selfies? Man, do you know what? I've ne I never take selfies no, by myself. He's, he's I only wear it back at you. Only wear, you know, with the missus or you know. I've yeah. done I don't mind a selfie of, if you, you know if if you if you're somewhere nice and there's something in the background. Yes. But guys, you just go to the gym and just go. Oh, working on my gains, oh, man. Gym, <laughs> Get gym out of selfies. here. No. Yes. Now, and I've also heard that you're quite vocal on Twitter. You don't mind speaking your mind. <laughs> You shouldn't be afraid to speak your mind, you know, if you're thinking something, is it, it. Has it ever got you in trouble before? All the time. <laughs> yeah, me and my thumb, see, I'm in, I'm in trouble all the time. But yeah, it, you know, it's all, I'm only ever joking. If somebody takes a shot at me, I'll, I'm not, you know, if you, if you take a swing, I'll swing back. Of course, of course, of course. And how is it working with, with Charlie Webb, obviously one of your fellow actors on set? Are you closest with her? Um, we are close, but... Um, we're all as a t as a team. We're really we're really yeah, tight. Yeah. It's not like any of us are more close than you know than the others. Yeah. But it's just a really good group of people. There's no egos. No, we're all just there to muck in and make the best show. Wow. Yeah, we can, yeah. Next week, okay. I think we is going to be... be a very very interesting week. Absolutely yeah. great to see you, Mike. Thanks for coming to see Thank us today. You very Thank much. you. Very Say hi to the rest of the guys for yes, us. I know you were in last time with some of your colleagues, so it's good to see you. I will do. Thank, Thank you. you very much. much. Thank, Thank you. Cheers, Mike.